Hello everyone, my name is Shelby and this is the series where I reveal what is inside these mystery pottery molds I found on Gumtree. Hello and welcome to another mystery mold. This one is number 79, the long awaited 79. I have been meaning to do this for a couple of weeks but you'll see why there's been a delay on this piece. So it's got a large hole and then two smaller holes on the base. I open it up to reveal this darling little horse pony. It kind of looked like a unicorn at first, but as you can see here, I was having issues with it already. As soon as I put it out of the mold, one of the ears just literally snapped off. and I, So I attached it back on and it was fine for a while. And then I had to attach all the legs. So I did that by compressing them on, giving them a trim, giving them some slips, scratching, scoring, making them all pretty. And then I had to get this little leg out. The first one I snapped, it didn't quite come out well. It had such a small hole to pour that one that it was so tricky to get it out but I got it attached and it sort of had this really beautiful lean on the table so here is a look at the mold it's a lying down colt it's dm137 but this is almost the oldest mold we've done so far it was made in 1964 you can see down the bottom there it has been such a pain so with that leg you saw there, it just kept snapping off. As you can see here, the ears kept breaking off and I was about to admit defeat. I decided to crumble those pieces up, pop them in the recycling bucket because there was just no point working with something that just kept breaking and was so fragile and fiddly. And what I wanted to do with them was maybe do like a Lisa Frank inspired artwork and make it really unicorn and rainbowy, but it just was not going to happen. So Frankenstein time it is. I am determined to at least get something out of this mold. I don't want it to be a waste of my time. The fact that I spent three casts trying to get it right, I refuse. So I decided to cut the head off and make this sort of regal looking mug with just like a horse head on it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, this mold has been just like really conflicting me for like weeks. <laughs> I've just been like, I don't know what to do with it, but I refuse to let it defeat me. So I made this horse head mug <laughs> and I just didn't know what I was doing really. I thought maybe I'll <laughs> paint some horsey motifs all over it but then I just didn't want it to look daggy and I just I was just so out of my comfort zone so I decided to do some glaze mixing and add a couple of coats of sepia glaze and then another glaze on top to get I'm still laughing about it <laughs> another couple of coats of another color to give it this sort of antique wash and give it some mesmerizing pigments on there to sort of try and redeem it and then I'm not done yet. So that's why you didn't see it go in the kiln. We're going to turn the horse head gold. So I, I just thought it would look like, I don't know, something out, out of like a anthropology room or something. I don't know. I don't have any reference. I couldn't find, I researched horse art. I researched horse pottery. I could not find anything that inspired me and I was just completely stuck. I'm sorry if you love horses. This I this is not a thing on horses. I was really keen to do a Lisa Frank inspired horse, but it just, yeah, we're just not going to talk about it. So once I had gold lusted the head, I decided to add these sort of leafy details. And then later on, I realized I was just doing a horseshoe <laughs> around the horse, but that's fine. It doesn't exactly look like a horseshoe it's just sort of resembling of one so i added those leafy details everywhere where this molasses sort of brown is uh it's sort of golden syrupy that's going to turn gold so hopefully this piece will end up looking kind of regal i did like the white horse head against the glaze i thought that that had its own look on itself but we needed things for the gold luster firing because i didn't want to waste a firing with a half empty kiln. So here I am painting the other pieces as well. Sorry, this has just been the weirdest video. Anyway, I am painting some other pieces for the luster firing. So last week's reveal were these plates. Now I was going to do these really beautiful designs on them, but I noticed this week uh, that over the temperature, the chilling cold overnight and the warm heats, that it has gone through, it is crazed. So crazing is where the glaze cracks, which means it's not food safe anymore. It's got a crack, which makes it hard to clean. 
it's still a piece that you can use for a trinket dish or whatever else you'd like to use it for I guess just not food safe so I thought being inspired by these crazy marks I'm going to trace over them with the gold luster and sort of make them a feature kind of like the oh I don't want to I'm going to mispronounce it but the kit song oh, I'm looking it up hang on it is how I thought it was pronounced kintsugi <laughs> I'm just so scared to say it anyway uh the repairing of pottery cracks with gold this isn't how you do it at all I just am inspired by that you actually infill the cracks whereas here I'm painting over the top of them with a gold luster so it's a different technique altogether but very much inspired by that with these crazy marks so I add all those little details, leafy details, and I also had a spare little skull that you saw me painting before. All of those went into the kiln and here they are here. They look amazing. The other works are actually one of my studio helpers works, but here they are. They are something else, let me tell you. Uh, I actually love this one because the gold didn't come out perfect. And I feel like other potters would be like, that's not right. But I actually love how it gives it this sort of like antique. It's been around the world a couple of times and through op shops and here it is today. And then the other one came out pretty much well perfect. It looks gorgeous. I think the gold just makes it very regal and very fancy. It's just not my cup of tea. <laughs> you get it? It's a mug. But uh, it's just not my cuppa. I just don't like this style at all. I felt really disappointed this week because I had all these intentions with Lisa Frank design doing rainbows making them into unicorns and they just would not work out and having the horse head on a mug I just felt like it kind of I don't know it's just not my style but I persevered here are the plates with the gold luster they came out great here is the skull but what do you think of the mold this week uh it's quite interesting i don't really love my pieces i love the glaze but it is what it is we made it work here is your sneak peek for next week and thank you so much for watching